welcome you to an exciting moment. Uh, today uh, launches a very important project as we work to try to uh, close the Disney divide uh, across the eight boards of the District of uh, Columbia. Uh, what a uh, favorable moment, because last night uh, I had the opportunity to talk about what we're trying to do uh, on the East Union for the city and how we're going to work to try to close the uh, digital divide. So for us to be here this morning uh, really is uh, a great opportunity to demonstrate the candidate and how we're going to work to do that. I want to thank everybody for coming out uh, on this, uh, this, I don't know how to describe it. Is it chilly or is it getting warm? <laughs> and, may, and maybe we'll get warmer as the day uh, wears on. So this is a great example of the public uh, private partnership. Uh, this effort is part of a series of grants I think the District of Columbia has received, totaling $27.5 uh, million dollars, uh, from the Department of Commerce. And we want to thank them. This is a part of the era dollars, the, uh, the stimulus dollars, let's put it that way, that came to the District of Columbia. <laughs> And it's a wonderful uh, indication of how we're putting those dollars uh, to work. We are here in Barry Farm. I'm delighted that we are. Uh, just a little bit of history. This, uh, the, the, the farm, and so many people say Barry Farms. I'm not sure where that came from. There's only one farm. And it was owned by uh, David and Julia Barris back in the 19th uh, century. And it was bought. Uh, by the uh, by the federal government uh, at the time. 375 acre tract of land that stretched from the Anacostia River over to what uh, has been referred to as Garfield Heights. Um, the tract of land that we are here down a part of uh, became part of an effort to create affordable housing. There were, there were affordable housing opportunities even back in the 19th century. And uh, people bought